The Rosicrucian mythology is important to us today because the needs of the age are the same as they were then. There is the same need for a holistic vision bringing together science, religion, art and philosophy. There is the same need to heal religious divisions. There is the same need to read the book of nature as the Rosicrucians put it, if we are to save the environment. And there is the same feeling that an age is ending and hopefully a new age is beginning. We are still very much in need of a transformative vision and the Rosicrucian vision still has the capacity to inspire us. Seeing the only wise and merciful God in these latter days hath poured out so richly his mercy and goodness to mankind, whereby we do attain more and more to the perfect knowledge of his Son, Jesus Christ, and of nature, and moreover hath raised men imbued with great wisdom who might partly renew and reduce all arts to perfection so that finally man might thereby understand his own nobility and worth, and why he is called microcosmos, and how far his knowledge extendeth into nature. The world will not be marveled at, but is in danger of becoming a burden to all men. Therefore it will be despised, the beautiful world of God, the incomparable work, the energy which possesses goodness, the many-formed vision, the abundance that does not envy, full of every vision. Darkness will be preferred to light, and death will be preferred to life. No one will gaze into heaven, and the pious man will be counted as insane, and the impious man will be honored as wise. The man who is afraid will be considered as strong, and the good man will be punished like a criminal. I am the light which exists in the light. I have cast fire upon the world and see, I am guarding it until it blazes. treasure house open for me 
You are my fullness. Take me to you. which you have will save you if you bring it forth from yourselves. within a man of light, and he lights up the whole world. If they say to you, where did you come from? Say to them, we came from the light. Where are you going? I shall go to the place from whence I came. If you wish to come with me, come. I shall give you what no eye has seen, and what no ear has heard, and what no hand has touched, and what has never occurred to the human mind. The images are manifest to man, but the light in them remains concealed in the image of the light of the Father. He will become manifest, but his image will remain concealed by his light.